Hi guys, are you tired of worrying about potential power surge damaging your long-range PoE camera setup? Today in this engaging video, I'm going to dive into the world of surge protection and show you how to apply it properly in a long-range IP camera system. Seize the chance to take your technology system design to a new level. Click the link down in the description box below and send us the problem that you might have. And let us help you to transform your ideas into reality. So search can lead to equipment damage, data loss, and decrease in equipment's lifespan. That's why it is important to have search protection in a large-range PoE camera setup. Since it's often operate in a challenging environment, including outdoor and remote locations, and these areas are prone to electrical disturbance like power surge. So for extended distance, devices are more susceptible to electrical surge. That's why surge protection can give you the confidence and peace of mind in a system reliability to withstand transient voltage event and operate reliably under various condition. Also, it is very cost saving. So behind me is the setup for today. We have the PVZ camera at the edge, 300 meters Ethernet cable in the middle, and a long range PoE switch to power it up. Now we have the surge protector by each side, and surge protector is a practical guarantee to protect PoE devices from power surge. Using this device can enhance security and reliability to the whole network system. It has durable enclosure and waterproof connection, makes it apply at outdoor environment flexibly with easy installation. It is IP68 rating waterproof. The working temperature range is from minus 40 degrees up to 85 degrees. And it's compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard. Now the surge protector works by detecting and diverting the SS voltage from the power surge away from the connected devices. That's why we should put it as close as you can by your device. And the excess energy is to be redirected through this surge protector and safely grounded. Now without saying, let's do the connection together. So let's use a short patch cord to connect our main network router to the NVR. And using another Ethernet cable here to connect the router to the long range PoE switch to provide data. Let's plug it in here. Now I'm going to connect the PoE switch with the surge protector. Make sure you plug it into the output port. So we're using output port for the device and this is the input port. We are going to connect it with the 300 meters Ethernet cable. So over this side is all done. This is the 300 meters Ethernet cable. So when we over this side to this surge protector, plug in the 300 meter Ethernet cable in the input port. Let's plug it in here. And using the output port for our edge device. Let's plug it in. Okay. Now, because we need a PoE extender for the 300 meter extension, so I'm now I'm going to plug it into the PoE extender first. This is the Ethernet cable that is going to connect with the PDZ camera. And after everything is connected, you can see our PDZ camera is already getting power and data. And we have two PU uh, search protector in between. And the image is already showing up. I'm going to move my hand to show you this is a live video. And here's some more information about the surge protector. When lightning hit the ground, the surge will spread out the area. And since our Ethernet cable is made out of copper, so we will absorb surge and they will travel through the Ethernet cable and damage your devices. That's why we should put the surge protector as close as you can with the edge device. 
and then plug in our Ethernet cable to the input port of the search. Then the search will release through this grounding cable. So the edge device that's connected to the output port will be fine. But some of you may wonder, do we still need to ground our devices? The answer is yes, because search protector can only stop about 90% of the search. So there's still 10% of the chance you might damage your device. So it's better for you to also ground your devices. And there are also different types of search protector. They're indoor, outdoor, and industrial type. Make sure you pick one that is suitable for your situation. Also, select one with a high search protection rating because the higher rating you get, the better protection it will provide. And if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up and share it with a friend or family who might benefit from it. And thank you very much for watching.